Hi and welcome to my next video. Today I'm going to be showing you my weekly hair care routine. So let's just say that the beginning of the week of my hair care routine starts right after I take a shower and wash my hair. So that's where this begins. I pretty much wash my hair once a week now. The first thing that I do after my hair has dried after washing my hair, I'll leave a link below to my updated hair wash routine. I use my wooden wide tooth comb that I purchased on Etsy. I comb my hair at the ends working my way up since this causes less breakage and pulling and tearing the hair out of my scalp which I don't want to do. After I detangle my hair, I use my DIY hair serum. I'll leave a link to the DIY recipe in the description box. Those little bits right there, that's dried amla that I decided to add to my serum for more softening and conditioning benefits. It's really great for preventing split ends as well as helping with damage and frizziness. Then say I'm going out somewhere like to the grocery store or something, my hair, I typically leave it up since it could get tangled easily because it's a little bit long. I'll usually put my hair up in a bun or a braid at the back of my head. To protect my hair from damage when it's in a bun or a braided bun, I like to use a hair stick or I'll use a hair fork. I do have many, many hair sticks and hair forks that I would like to show you. I usually want to go out if it's a windy day or it's a sunny day. I typically wear a snood on my hair. This is an extra long snood so I can wear my hair down but in this snood. But I also have regular size snoods that I would wear if I wanted to keep my hair extra protected from things like the wind or just from tangling, things like that. Once a day, I always, always comb through my hair. Then when I go to bed, I have a very certain way to wear my hair when I'm sleeping if I have clean hair. Also, I would only recommend using scrunchies for the hair. And if you need to tie your hair at the ends, I would recommend using these much softer and more delicate hair ties for when I braid my hair at night. Also, right before I put my hair up for sleep in my silk scarves, I lightly oil my ends of my hair, usually with my DIY hair serum or a mixture of coconut, castor, and olive oil. I have a certain way of tying my hair in my silk scarves for when I sleep, and I will show you how I do that. And that is using silk scarves. Now, please don't get mad at me. I know I'm vegan. I have had these silk scarves before I went vegan, and I'm not about to throw my silk scarves into the trash after I already purchased them. These are my silk scarves that I wear if I'm going to bed or I'm just lounging around the house. And there's no bulkiness at the back of my head, which I really like when I'm sleeping. This is pretty much my hair care routine. For the first four to five days after washing my hair, it's incredibly simple really. Usually by the fifth or sixth day, I like to oil my hair from around just below the ears down. And I oil it just enough so that it's coating my hair very well, but not enough to be dripping or get all over the place. I have a special snood that I wear just for when I have the oil in my hair towards the end of the week. And this is my black snood. So if you ever see me in any pictures and I'm wearing this black snood, that means I have oil in my hair and I want to cover it so you can't really see it. <laughs> Typically what I do when I have the oiled hair towards the end of the week, I will put my hair either in a nautilus bun at the back of my head or in a braided nautilus bun at the back of my head and simply use a very simple small hair stick like this. And I will put that in my hair put on the snood and if I need to go out, my hair is covered so you can't tell there's any oil on it, but I'm getting nourishing treatment in my hair. Sometimes I put a little bit on my scalp, especially if I know I'm going to be wearing my snood, then I don't have to worry about my hair looking oily. So if you ever see me in public and my hair looks like this, you will know now that I am oiling my hair and I don't want you to see my oily hair, so I'm covering it so that I can get away with it and not look disgusting in public. <laughs> so sometimes I'll use my red one like this, it's prettier, and a little bit more colorful. And that's also when I'm oiling my hair so that that way you can't really see it. Then in the nighttime, I take my hair down and braid it again, putting into the silk scarves. And of course, the next morning, I always wash my silk scarves if I've been oiling my hair. Then typically by the end of the day, when I need to put my silk scarves on for when I go to sleep, most of the oil, about I'd say 
90% of it has soaked into my hair and it doesn't really feel as oily as when I first put the oil in my hair. There's no problem with any oil getting all over the place when I'm sleeping. Then on hair wash day, when I know I'm going to be washing my hair that day, I will saturate my hair and scalp in oil, lots and lots of oil, and leave that on all day then at the end of the day I'll wash my hair. I usually use an applicator bottle like this. It's really great for making it easy to oil your hair but it's also great for the scalp and getting oil directly on your scalp without much mess. For the scalp oiling I'll typically use rosemary, tea tree, and lemon essential oil. These are very good essential oils for fighting dandruff as well as helping with healthy hair growth. So these three essential oils are what I put into my oil for my scalp. When I oil my hair and my scalp I'll use a hair stick that I don't care about like this very cheap wooden one. This is actually not a hair stick. I got this at Michael's. This is really made for when you make candy apples and you put the stick into the apple and then eat it like, like a lollipop I guess. I leave that on my hair all day. Then I'll wash it out using my no poo all natural hair wash routine. I'll leave the link in the description box if you'd like to check it out. It's really simple. And then the cycle just keeps repeating itself. <laughs> it's very very simple. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys could enjoy this video. I hope I see you again next Sunday.